enough for nine. And I call nine is mine. If you happen to know the Constitution, the Ninth Amendment, I think is one of my favorites because again, it's just kind of written just for you. Um, so nine is mine. I like to consider nine as three triangles, just how I like to think about it. And then what's been on my bulletin board since I started my project was for my found personal foundation, as I'm attempting to do this, I just felt like I need stuff to keep me grounded. I need stuff to give me a sense of anchoring. You know, I just love to just, I could go in a hundred different directions. So I definitely need a sense of anchoring. And then um, as I was developing the, this the first year because of the number nine in the Constitution, and again, nine is mine, I just came up with nine things that, just words for a foundation for myself. So if, you're, if you feel like you're kind of starting to understand this, or maybe you already do and you're just frustrated, this is kind of the beginning where you start to build your own sense of foundation. And here's, here's mine which I've mentioned before, but balance, flexibility, and strength, time, truth, and trust, dance, draw, and dream. So these are nine things that are just really important to me. So in order to establish this, <clears throat> pretty much everything I do, I can come back and come and think about these, this foundation. Am I, what am I doing with my time? Am I using my time the way I want to. More and more now that I'm away from school, that's getting easier. Consequently, my life is just getting easier and better because I have more time for myself. I will always, the, the truth is something that is very, I'm very passionate about that I, I, I'm okay with being wrong. But you, you'll have to come up with some pretty good evidence because this is pretty much what I do all day is research, education, work on myself as a human being so that I can be better not only for myself but for those around me and for students, which is kind of my goal. Um, so I will always get to, I will absolutely go for the truth. Now you'll find people talk circles around you and sometimes it's hard to decipher that. It's a challenge. But sometimes once the truth is just there and it come, it has to have a lot of vectors coming in. It's not just what somebody says. It's not just an opinion. It's research. It's your own moral code. Anyway, so that's truth. And then trust I found is a really interesting one because who, who do you trust? And the one thing that I keep coming back to is maybe I have not always been the most trustworthy person. I have my flaws. Um, but I thought if I want to start now, again, I can't go back in time and fix any of that. But I can begin to be a more trustworthy person. Yes. Um, and it's the little things, right? It's showing up if I say I'm going to show up. It's coming through when I say I'm going to come through on something. It's, the, it's these little things that'll answer the door if my doorbell rings. <laughs> but, but sometimes it's hard to trust that. You know, can you trust um, that you eat when you're always hungry? Do I trust um, myself at, in certain circumstances? And the answer, unfortunately, is be like, oh, maybe not. Maybe I need to kind of protect myself so that I can trust myself in my own environment. So I don't know if that makes sense, but... I don't want to focus on whether or not I can trust a politician. That's over. <laughs> but I need to be trustworthy myself so that I can be worthy of trust for you students. Okay. And myself. Um, and then, can you see this one? Um, as literal and metaphorically, life is just kind of a dance. I'm just having a lot more fun with it now. And I, and I physically take dance lessons. I'm not good. But it sure is fun. It's better than other kinds of exercises. I love to draw, and I really love the literal dreaming. Um, so anyway, that's what I built down for my foundation. They can be flexible, but I've had these for, what, two or three years now. And 
it's just it's just something nice to constantly come back to and to know it's like okay is what you're doing worthy of your time are you trustworthy me <laughs> and again if if i can't trust myself how can i ask any students to trust me if i'm not a truth seeker how can i tell students a lie <laughs> It becomes, the more philosophical I get, the harder it is for me to deviate from these things because they're so important. I have found, I've, I've been an insomniac for pretty much my whole life, up until maybe the last four years, three or four years. And the part of it is because I just, this basis, this, philo this new philosophy of life, my high school, not only do I study it, I teach it, I think how can I teach some student something if I'm not living it myself? That's kind of my philosophy, and that's why nine is mine. And then what I hope will happen in the, the next fold of this high school is I would, I'll help anybody, if, if students, if you want help to build up your own foundation. Yeah? Make sure it's something you can come back to over and over again. Is this what you really want? Or is this what you've been told by business management systems that this is what you need to eat, this is how you need to sleep, this is how you need to live your life. Which, if it's working for you, then stay there, then shut me off, like I said, go on in your own world. I'm talking to those students who are just as frustrated as me with this education system that seems to be a, a wicked problem. Okay, set it, nine? Let's call it nine.